Hi everyone, welcome to this new episode of the preview for the Treasure Craft box. It's already the fourth edition of this box um, and I'm really happy to show you all the new items I've prepared. The very first item is this beautiful lace that comes on a wooden spool. So that makes it a really fun item to have in your craft box. It has these beautiful details here and will be perfect to use in journals and scrapbooks to give a little bit of layer to your crafts. I've been wanting to add a magnifying glass for a while now to the box, so here it is. It's super useful, uh, both if you're trying to look at little tiny details on your papers or if you're reading or looking at vintage. And aside from that, it's a fun decorative item to have. This is silver metal and it has quite a nice weight to it. This is a designer paper pad. It's 8 inch by 8 inch or about 20 centimeters square. It has 40 pages of vintage illustrations and kind of background uh, decoration. There are two um, grammage of paper. One is like a cardstock, I would say about 140 uh, GSM, and one is a little bit thinner, maybe 120 GSM. The paper is really good quality and you really have a wide array of uh, designs in there. This is my very favorite item of this box. It's a crystal plate and it has this beautiful golden border. The middle has these pink tones and transparency that make it really unique. This plate is perfect if you like to make wax seals. It will make a beautiful round seal and I'm gonna show you quickly how you can use it. So you remember this uh, small um, wax heater that was part of the last treasure box. So just to make it clear, um, the wax seal that you see here, the wax stamp and the heater are not part of this box. So here's how easy to make a beautiful round wax seal and super easy to detach if you would like to use the wax seal later on rather than directly on paper. Next item is this vintage wooden box. The design represents ancient Chinese copper coins and it's repeated several times to create a kind of pattern. The top is almost bronze-like and the sides and the inside are this brown reddish color. It comes with a metal lock so you can actually lock your little treasures and it's big enough to put quite a few things in there. Next we have these three super large rolls of tape. They're, the texture is slightly plasticky on the outside to create a super strong packaging tape um, so it will be great for boxes and for gifts around Christmas. I'll show you how it looks a little bit later. They can definitely be used in regular crafts as well. Um, they're really larger, so they can be cut through or used as a whole or used as a background. They represent three different patterns and they have three different colors, a brownish one, a reddish one, and a blue one. The blue one, of course, is my favorite. I really love the pattern of this one and the contrast with the white. If you like to decorate your packages or boxes or gifts for Christmas or birthdays, these really look great on them. Use the white box and a cardboard box to show the difference. The last item I want to show you today is this super large stamp set, which has beautiful postage details and on the inside some illustrations. If you're looking for something for fall, this, these are perfect. There's three, one, three stamps with mushrooms on the inside, and then you also have some butterflies and some birds. The sizes vary. You have some that are about eight centimeters, over three centimeters, that's the largest one. And you will get nine beautiful stamps total. You will get a couple more uh, items that aren't shown on this video to keep some of the surprise. 
This was the preview for the October-November edition of the Treasure Craft Box. These boxes are limited edition and always come in a small number. As usual, you can find more information on my website, CoraCreaCrafts.com. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed seeing all these goodies.